Well, federal officials who were in charge on January the 6th faced some pretty tough questions about the riot on Capitol Hill. CBS4 Washington correspondent Rashad Hudson joins us live now with more on that. Rashad. This was the first time lawmakers had a chance to hear from former President Trump officials about what they knew before and on that day as lawmakers worked to try to prevent future attacks. In sometimes combative moments, former Trump administration officials testified to Congress about the shortcomings of the federal response to the January 6th Capitol attack. There's this is a very recent reversal of your, of your testimony. Absolutely not. That's ridiculous. You're ridiculous. New York Congresswoman Carolyn Maloney wants answers as to how the Capitol breach happened. It is our duty to understand what went wrong that day, to seek accountability, and to take action to pre prevent this from ever happening again. Former Acting Defense Secretary Christopher Miller and former Acting Attorney General Jeffrey Rosen defended their department's response to the Capitol attack. The military should not be utilized in such scenarios other than as a last resort and only when all other assets have been expended. When we urgently deployed more than 500 agents and officers from the FBI, ATF, and U.S. Marshals to assist in restoring order at the Capitol. Republicans like Kentucky Congressman James Comer say Democrats are now using the attack for political gain. But instead of seeking to examine the facts in a bipartisan fashion, Speaker Pelosi and the Democrats have politicized the January 6th attack. Now, lawmakers from both parties are working to negotiate a bipartisan commission to look into the surroundings of January 6th. We're told that a vote could come as early as next week to establish that commission. In Washington, Rashad Hudson, back to you. Yeah, Rashad, before you go, are there any future hearings planned to further examine the attack on January the 6th? Well, next month, this same committee will hear from FBI Director Christopher Wray about the government's involvement and an update on the January 6th attack, where they are in the investigation. We do know that over 400 people have been arrested for their involvement in that attack. So lawmakers are just hoping to get another update, and there could be more coming as soon as the FBI Director testify. All right. CBS4 Washington correspondent Rashad Hudson, thank you.